Hello everyone. Hope everything is going well and everyone's staying safe. It seems like there's a natural disaster pretty much everywhere nowadays, so hopefully everyone's okay. Today I am doing a couple of swipes. I'm going to do a little swipe series. It's not my norm or something I necessarily usually do or like, but um, I try to get out of my comfort zone every once in a while and experiment. The one thing you want to make sure of, of course, is that all your paint is the same texture. I am still using a bloom mixture and all the color descriptions are in uh, the description of the video. And it doesn't really make that much of a difference if you layer or drizzle. Um, I like to experiment with different ways. Um, so sometimes I do layer it on top of each other. You can use anything you want to uh, move the cell activator over the paint. I chose to use a spatula but I've used photo cards, uh, playing cards, you name it, I probably tried it. I even um, used to do plastic wrap. And you don't have to do a bloom recipe in order to do this. You could do Floetrol. It's just something about the swiping and also with Dutch pores, um, the paint consistency and using the hairdryer that creates the cells. I normally don't like all cells, which is why I don't do a lot of swiping. Um, I prefer to blow dry and have some cells and some um, paint without them. I just think it, it makes the painting more interesting but some people just want all cells. And I really wanted them in the beginning because I couldn't get them. <laughs> so uh, eventually once I figured out how to get them, I realized that maybe that wasn't as aesthetic to me as I wanted it. So the key is practice and repeating it until you get it. And sometimes you need to take notes to do that. Um, you should jot down what your consistency is. Um, the time of year, temperature can make a difference. The temperature in your room can make a difference. There's so many variables that can make this very frustrating. You see comments that people think it's easy, but it's really not. And there's time, it takes time to uh, wait for the cells to start to pop up sometimes. Um, so I do tend to let it sit a little bit so it'll do its thing. For the most part, you don't have control. You have control where you spread the paint. Um, but as far as actual where it goes when I spin and stuff like that, um, it's going to kind of go with the flow of the paint, which means you really want to make sure your base is even and that you have enough paint. If you don't have enough paint on the canvas, it does make a huge difference. Um, it won't flow correctly. It'll stop flowing in places. If you had more in the center than you had on the outside, it will make a difference depending on if you had enough in the center to displace everything. It is kind of a science. This is basically the finished product. I ended up making a couple little changes, but nothing major. I had a little um, black mark that I ended up taking off. 
because uh, it didn't flow off the side like I thought it would. And that's what I ended up with. For the next one, I used the same leftover paint that I already had. I just decided to do it just a little bit more differently. This one I didn't quite like as much as the first one, but I'll let you watch it out to the end. And thanks again for listening, and please subscribe if you can. You can always unsubscribe later if you get bored with me.